you know, some of the other porn girls that I've, I've interviewed have talked about how there's kind of a difference between white girls in porn and black girls in porn. I mean, would you agree that there's a difference? Um, well, me in the early stage of my career, I really didn't experience that because, like I said, I was signed to Black Eyes, which is, was a sister company to um, Zero Tolerance in Third Degree, which Courtney Combs was signed to in Electra Blue. So a lot of the white girls already took me underneath like their wings. So I did a lot of signings with white girls. I was on the road with a lot of white girls. I was the only black girl with a lot of white girls. Um, so I really didn't experience any of that. Now, a lot of white girls do anal, I don't. So of course they get paid more um, being on like a contract and things like that. You got your perks where uh, easy stuff like hair, nails, clothes, housing, things like that, which is supposed to come on your contract, you know, when you're working for this actual company. But um, after I actually started my own company and not shooting for the other major companies, then yeah, I did feel it a little bit where I would try to book a few white girls and they wouldn't do it. Or um, I would try to use a few locations that some of the white producers would use and they wouldn't like rent it out to me and stuff like that. So yeah, I've, I've experienced it, but it doesn't bother me. It's, it's not an issue. It doesn't stop any of my money. So I really don't have anything to say about that. I remember, like, you know, when I interviewed Pinky, she said that she was glad that she was a black girl in the industry because she was saying how, like, all the white girls kind of start to sort of blend in with each other. You know, like, the black girls are a little more distinctive. Yeah, black girls are a little bit more distinctive because they have their own character. They kind of freelance and do what they want to do. And then most of our movies are gonzo. So it's not, like, scripted where the white girls have, like, scripts, speaking parts, uh, placement, things like that, like black porn is straight gonzo, straight couch, dick out, ready to go. It's not a lot of talking in it versus the white girls, you know? So it's different. It's That's just how black porn is. Like, you know, black people, we're not trying to sit there and watch a whole scripted porno, unless it's funny. And then when it's funny, then it, it becomes cool. But yeah. I mean, in terms of your, your fans, do you think you have more black fans, more white fans, you know, Spanish fans, Asian fans? Like, how does it kind of break down, Roxy? I've, I've, I have a little bit of everything because um, there's this back end on your site where you could see all the different states and all the countries around the world, all the hits that you get. And I have this ass toy out, my um, Roxy Reno cyber, pu cyber pussy and ass toy. And it shows you where it's actually being purchased, where it's been distributed, where it's uh, being sold at. Uh, there's th third parties that actually buy it from us and sell it themselves at their own personal stores that they have. So I think I have a little bit of everything. I have, a, of course, I have a lot of black fans because I'm black. So that just makes sense, you know? And then my white fans, of course, because a lot of white men, they still love fat asses too. They like smothering. They like black girls to sit on their face. It's like a, a fab now that white men, they just love it. It's crazy, but they do. And then Asian, I mean, they're in Asia. They make my toy. So I'm pretty sure that they're out there going ham off of it. But a lot of people hit me like on Twitter and stuff. They're pretty much everywhere. It's not like a racial thing when it comes to me. I fuck with all races. <laughs>